In 2010, Germany's premium car maker Daimler and the French Japanese car group Renault Nissan Alliance joined forces. The companies announced several projects focused around increasing efficiency in Europe. But the partnership quickly took on a global scope and is now the most productive cross cultural and international collaboration in the automotive industry. The Mercedes Citan, jointly developed and manufactured by Renault and on sale since 2012, the first vehicle resulting from the cooperation. Next came co-developed, fuel-efficient, small diesel powertrains for the Mercedes-Benz A and B class, produced by Renault. At the same time, Daimler began adapting its four-cylinder diesel engine and seven-speed automatic gearbox for the Infiniti Q50, which has been on sale since fall 2013. In 2014, Daimler and Renault begin selling the next-generation Smart and Twingo city cars developed together on a shared platform. Daimler and Renault are also working on a direct-injection turbocharged small gasoline engine family. First application of the engines are expected in vehicles from 2016 onwards. 2015 marks the debut of the Infiniti Q30, leveraging the Mercedes-Benz front-wheel drive architecture. The cooperation has also expanded in the commercial vehicle business in Japan. The project portfolio between Daimler and Renault-Nissan keeps growing. The two companies have only one rule. Consider all win-win projects that drive customer value while maintaining clear brand differentiation. Okay. Well, hello, Christos. everyone. I'm Rachel Conrad, Global Director of Communications at the Renault-Nissan Alliance. And first, I'd like to welcome everyone to this news conference with Renault-Nissan CEO and Chairman Carlos Ghosn and Dieter Zecha, Chairman of the Board of Management of Daimler AG and Head of Mercedes-Benz Cars. We have journalists from around the world who are watching by live streaming video, and we have more than 100 people watching us live in Mexico. In just a few seconds, the leaders of Daimler and Renault-Nissan will announce the day's big news. After that, my colleague at Daimler, Communications Vice President Jorg Hova, will moderate a question and answer session with both executives. We will start with some questions from Mexico City. We will then take questions by email from journalists watching this by the live stream. As a reminder, please ask all of your questions in English and use this special opportunity with our highest ranking executives to ask your most strategic big picture questions. Thank you. And now let's hear from Dieter Zecha, followed by Carlos Ghosn.